missing piece in all success is structure. Hi, my name is Chris Duncan. I'm about to show you a live demonstration of structure, unpacking structure, and understanding how important it is when you're creating. Whenever you create, there is always two ways. One, creating dysfunctionally, and two, creating in a functional way. This demonstration is from our live event in the Magnetic Mind Masterclass. We run it once a quarter. It's on day one, and I help the participants to understand how important structure is when you're creating. See, you're not broken. You've just got to tap into what works for you and your own process of creating. Watch this session if you want to know the secret of manifesting what you love. It will blow you away. Check it out. Hi, have we worked together before? Um, you know, I pose a question in one of your sessions. I don't think I've been on camera with you before. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I saw, you know, there's, there's a few Angela's. I, so I was like, I seen your name in it and it kept on being the right name. And I was like, oh, I wonder if, if I've worked with you before. Well, welcome. Welcome. Um, what uh, are you in a program? What are you? You're, uh... I'm in the certification program right now. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad that we're we're doing this. How do I unpin Roche? There we go. Um, now, can everyone see Angela and myself at the same time? Can you guys see both of us now? All right, good, here we are. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for being the first uh, demonstration. So I'm gonna be going through the exercise on 35. Now, I'd like everyone to, uh, to, to you, you do, everyone can do your own experience. What I would love is you guys to be with me and we're gonna go through this with Angela and we're gonna unpack uh, a structure with her. It's a very, 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 very great um, process. And I'd like you all to learn how to do what I'm doing as well, because you're gonna wanna do this more than once. After I do it with Angela, we're gonna take the whole group through. And this is a very big process. It really is the crowning process of today. Okay, so, so thanks for your good energy, everyone. Let's all set the intention. We're of service to Angela. She's the right person for this. I just know it. So we'll have some fun. So, so Angela, do you have a, um, a creation right now that is stuck or, or oscillating? Um, you know, it's a, a little bit stuck uh, with... Um, so I'm already certified as a life coach. I'm now certified in, with this program. I, I'm very inspired by it. But what's stuck is really getting that business going and, and seeing myself doing this whole time and being in action around all of that. So um, what I'm writing in, everyone, uh, you know, Angela, stuck in business. Stuck in, stuck in business. Some of you might need to click up in the top right to your view, and you might need to change the view to speaker or gallery. I've got Angela and myself both on spotlight. You should be able to see uh, see her. Okay, cool. So you might, is, is that right, Roche? It's right on your side, hey? Because most of you can see both of us, hey? Yeah, so, so if you can't see both of us, there's something that you'll need to tick, but I think you can hear her anyway. So it's, it's gonna be good. So you're stuck in business. So, so what are you trying to achieve? Well, my commitment is really to help uh, people, as many people as possible, to realize their full potentials and their dreams and bring this work to them. Cool. And so how's it stuck? Um, it's stuck in that... Um, I've been procrastinating on doing my studying for the last few weeks. Um, I, like I said, I'm already certified and I didn't start that business. So I have this concern about, will I start this one? You know, like, um, just doubting myself in some ways. Cool. So we've naturally moved to question two, which is what do you think? The first thing is I'm already certified 
and didn't start. So will I start this one? What else do you think? I think that um, I'm in some communities where I see things that other people are doing and I think that I'm not as qualified as they are. How does it feel? It feels, um, you know, uncertain, a little scary. Um, it, it's disappointing to be feeling that way. Um, feeling is just unsettling to have those thoughts. Thank you. How do you define yourself? So I define myself in this structure. I define myself as, in this structure, I define myself as. So in the structure of becoming a, a life coach with a functioning business, right? Yeah. Um, I define myself as, you know, someone who is confident, capable, intelligent, I believe I'm a thought leader, I'm well-spoken, I'm compassionate. Yep. And I really believe I'm capable, but then things seem to sometimes stop me. Cool. So you define yourself as capable, but, but, but you also define yourself as stopped. Right, that would be accurate, yeah. Awesome. So just everyone, I'm not trying to put words in um, Angela's mouth or anything. I'm just asking the questions. And we're, what we're doing is we're unpacking the structure here. Uh, she's not broken. There's nothing wrong with her. We're just, we're just unpacking the structure. And we're going to see how and why, what, what the result is and what's going on just by unpacking how she's dysfunctionally creating. That's what we're, we're going to, we're going to, you're going to see, well, this is what I do when I'm a dysfunctional creator. And then we will contrast it with with how you are when you're a, a powerful creator. So so how uh, and so it means you're stopped. So 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 you define yourself as stopped. What does that mean? You know. So you define yourself as confident, capable, compassionate, thought leader, but you're stopped. So what does that mean? It means so. This means. I'm also a procrastinator. And what does that mean? That means I don't place myself first. Okay. I don't always follow through. Yep. What does that mean though? I'm not good enough. Okay. It's no right answer. I'm just asking. Yeah. So how do you uh, define others? How do you find others? So others are, so I'm this and others are. So I'm this and others are. Well, those I've been comparing myself to are competent, knowledgeable, at doing it. Um, better than me. <laughs> Great. So um, you had an unconscious giggle around better than me. So I'd like you just to tune into that. Why was that so funny? It's a it's an enjoyable place for your unconscious to. Hmm. I guess it relieves me of responsibility. You're right. So others are better than me, which relieves me of responsibility. I always, um, 
love super unconscious um, but non-logical reactions. You know, I once was working with someone and they're talking about a, a death of someone and that huge smile came across their face. I was like, so what was that? And they were like, oh, I didn't even realize it. I said, you did it. And they said, oh, well, I guess it gave me this huge excuse of, of why this didn't work out, you know? And it's like, wow, well, that, it's like unconsciously, I'm actually happy to be sat with others being better than me because then I don't have to face the, you know, the truth and put myself out there. I have to just try to instead just try to work on being as good as them rather than being as good as me, you know? And so everyone listening, ca catch where you have the, uh, uh, a, um, oh, the word's escaping me right now, but, but really catch where your the emotion and then the facts don't really line up. Like when that happens, does that make sense? It's like, cause, cause that's when you've got two things going on. So we had the unconscious reaction and the self-conscious reaction, which were completely different. Cause if you watch the replay, it was a beautiful giggle. Like it was a really joyful, like, <laughs> they're all better than me, you know, like, yeah, it was really interesting. It's, it's, um, anyway, it's all information. It's all information. That's all, that's all this is. Hey, it's just all information. So, uh, good. So how, uh, do you define the world? Wow. So what's going on for me right now is like, okay, what's the thing that I should say, uh, you know, in this yeah, moment, uh, as opposed to what do I really believe? Um, I, I guess I define the world as a risky place. What does that mean? That means it's not really necessarily safe. Yeah. And, you know, I guess I guess that there's a lot of responsibility to engage with people even though your intention is to help them, if you don't have all the answers to help them, are you going to harm them? That's what I worry about. Thank you. See, so, so just stick with this for me. You're doing great, right? So if you're someone that has to have all the answers and if you don't have all the answers, you may harm them. How are you seeing them? Powerful or powerless? Oh, geez. I guess I'm seeing them as pretty powerless, aren't I? You are, you are, but with love, you are, you're saying, you're all powerless, so I have the answers. I must have the answers because you're powerless. But then that's how you see you. Unless I have the answers, I'm powerless too because you, the way we treat them is the way we treat us. Right. You know? So you're, you're thinking they're going to come to you and as a coach, you're going to sprinkle magic on them and you, you know, you're know you going to have to know all the answers because you basically got to figure out how to be you know, the all-knowing. Instead yeah. of going, you you guys are bloody powerful, and and I'll show you some stuff. But you know, you you got to figure it out yourself. That's usually freeing. Well, you can see, guys, by this structure. Can you see how the path of least resistance for Angela? The reason why she hasn't done life the life coaching business, we just found it. Is the world is risky, and people are powerless. So I must know everything. Yeah. Now you guys all tell me, is that a stuck structure or is that a stuck structure? 
were oscillating because you'll probably just keep on trying to learn everything. Isn't it true? Because everyone's so powerless in this world, so risky. I must know everything. And so, so this, this structure will never begin their business. They'll just keep going. Mag, mag mind will be there. Then the next one, the next one. Superconscious never fails at getting the right person for the group. Okay, so, so well, we've already done it, but the question is, what is the assumption? I've already read it out, but but what with all this, what are you assuming? I'm assuming that um, you know I'm broken. They are too. I have to help them. I don't know everything. Uh, and I need to to help them or I'm going to hurt them all, all that instead of seeing that I'm a powerful creator I do have knowledge that would help them they're powerful too and I can help guide them to seeing how to reach their full potential nice so um you're already you're already ahead of my questions, but I need oh. to stay on the I need to stay on the questions just for the demo. See, but you're doing perfect because you'll come to your own realization. So that's that's great. But if we were to just to just to keep unpacking the structure, if you have the assumption that I am broken and so are they, and I must know everything to fix them, you know, the world is risky, they are powerless. How would you deal? How would one deal with that assumption? What would they do? They would seek to learn as much as they possibly can um, before ever taking action. And really trying to reach, setting the business up to help people because they don't feel they're ready for it yet. So they would just keep on learning and trying to find all the answers, but never allowed to have all the answers one because it's bloody impossible to have all the answers for all people but two their identity is about seeking the answers not already having it yeah great so question six says and by the way i hope you guys are all listening question six says how do you deal with it and then in brackets where is the power okay so how this is dealt with is seeking to learn and learn and learn and learn and learn and learn and learn. So where is the power? The power is, well, I'll ask you. So if that's what you do, where is the power? Uh, the power is the no in the knowledge I'm seeking. Yeah, so, so, so when I say the power, this is the right answer. The power is, if you have tension like this, it can either go this way or it can go this way. Where the power is, is where the tension resolves. So the power is in other people who are smarter than you. Yes. That's not true, but, but your the belief is other people who have more knowledge than me and they've got, that's with, and I've got to go learn from them. Then so that's what I mean when, that question is, is a difficult one to wrap people's heads around. It's like, what do you do? Where is the power? So you can see it. Because when you get to see it, then you get to know when you're doing it again. Yeah. You know. Now there's a very diff very big difference between you and me, two powerful people, and I'm sharing what I know, and you're learning what I know. It's a very different to you going, I I I have to get his knowledge and all of his knowledge is the right way. It's a very, very different orientation. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I still have coaches. True. I still have coaches. I still have people. I have tons of people, but they're powerful and I'm powerful. And not everything that they say I think is right. You know, everything I say they think is right. I'm powerful. I talk to Colette. Colette's powerful. William, Simone, my business mentors, they're all powerful. We're all powerful. And I'm choosing to create. And because I see them as powerful, I would really like their input. But I'm out there in the world with my way, doing my thing, and also allowing other people to be powerful around me too. Right. You know, yeah. 
So here's the question. So, 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 so the world is risky. People are powerless. I, I'm broken. So are they. And I know the answer because you've already got there. In this structure, you'd seek to learn and learn and learn and learn and give your power away to more knowledgeable people. So do you really believe what you're telling you? Did you really believe that? No, I, I, no, not really. No. Really, or I wouldn't have stepped into this. Yeah. I have moments of thought where I know how intelligent and competent and capable I am. I see the things that I've done and I'm frankly amazed by some of them, so. Question seven is always a no. We never really believe that. When we're in our heart of hearts, truth of truth, we know it's complete BS. You know, it's a belief system. We, 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 it's complete, it, we, we know that. And the way to do it is to completely drop down into the idea that you think that the world is broken and it's risky and it's powerless and you must learn from others and really feel in good way. Really believe this is how the world is. You, and it's, it's always like, no, I really, I actually don't. Question eight says, what is the end result of all of, if you stay in that structure, what is the, um, <laughs> Yeah, it, BS can stand for whatever you like, Lindsay. Uh, today it was belief system. Um, what is the end result of, of that? So if you stay in that structure, and you're allowed to, this is the key with this question. We're not saying there's anything, there's, there's no judgment on this. You're allowed to. It's your, it's your own human journey, Angela. I, I, you don't even need my. You can stay, but but if you stay in that structure, what's the inevitable end result? The inevitable end result is I will acquire more knowledge and not put it into practice. Cool. And you can do that. Now, completely unrelated completely unrelated, just for a second, and, and just close your eyes maybe for this. What is it that you love? Like, what do you love to create? What do you love? And just drop down into the emotion of things you love, like completely unrelated. Like, what do you love to do? Who do you love to be around? Activities, experiences. What do you love? What's coming to me is I really love riding my motorcycle. <laughs> nice. What sort of motorcycle do you have? I have a Suzuki, an SFE 650 Gladius. That is fast. You it are is. a badass. <laughs> that is very fast. I have a I have a slow Harley and I'll putt behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so you love you love riding your motorcycle. So so tell me when you're when you're riding your motorcycle, when you want to go ride your motorcycle, where are you focused? I'm you know, I'm just focused on getting out of the city to the curviest roads I can and leaning it over in the corners. Like, you know, it, it's like gotta go pretty fast for that. So that's what I'm focused on. Like just that dance with the machine that no one can understand if they've never ridden one, you know. Yeah. 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 So notice how you are when you're creating with ease and what you love. Yeah. What's obvious about how you are there that you need to apply to this other thing. I guess to let go of worry. To, to well, I'm going to just bring you back. You go back to creating the best motorcycle day, the best adventure. You come over to Australia. I got some great places for us to go. We're like, <laughs> let, what are we going to do? All like, right. Like, you're in that. Feel that. Notice where you're focused. Know how you are. Notice it. What's obvious about how you are here? So tell me, how are you here? How are you um, here? I just, uh, I just go for it. I mean, I was in a motorcycle club and the other women in that club were just like, I'm amazed by how well you ride. Like you just, you got to have confidence to ride a motorcycle, right? Oh yeah. So 
Right. Especially that that thing. So you so so I want you to notice this. You're in the end result. You're in it. You're in it. When you come with you start, you light up, you're in it, you're there, you're in it. Yeah. Just notice how you are, you're in it. You're imagining it, you're thinking, you're even your body turned when you thought I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna, I, you know, you're in it. Just notice you're in it. When you're yeah. when you're doing that. Now yeah. There's many people on here that they couldn't just be in it when riding a motorcycle. They would try to work it out. So what's obvious about when you're in it, when you're going for it, the, how you're creating when you're creating from your heart, what is obvious about what you must do with the other creation? I don't love it as much. Right? You've got to. Enjoy it. the joy in it and and it, it just expressed from my heart right just go for it you'll know if you're taking the corner too fast adjust as you're going yeah you know ride the road at 70 percent first and then your next time go for it you get it and hold your line pick your line stick pick to your it. line that's it uh, you know, corner off the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Good analogy. So, no, it's your analogy. Pick <laughs> your line. Pick your line. Go for it. What would life be like if you related to building your, what would your business be like if you did the exact same way building your business the way you are when you're creating amazing motorcycle uh, days? It would already exist and be flourishing. So you be not. So you're not broken because motorcycling is a difficult bloody thing to do. And, and so you know how to be a creator. You just got to be that there. That's it. You've got to get on the cutting edge. You got to go for it. Go do your bloody video. Ride the edge of creation. Lean into it. Be the same. Choose your line. Get around that. You know, make sure you've looked at your machine, you know, like, you know, the Zen of, Mo Zen of Motorcycle, Art and Zen of uh, Motorcycle Maintenance. Like, like man, you know, you got, and, but there you go, right? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. That's a great way of looking at things. Well, it's your way. And now here's what's brilliant. So thank you so much, by the way. I always somehow, super conscious gets the perfect example. And if you'd given, said to me, Chris, uh, here's five thousand dollars, and you're going to be talking about uh, motorcycle riding with what with your attendee. I'll be like, nah. So it was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect, and uh, I'll putt around on a slow motorcycle behind you, but I ain't riding those things. <laughs> uh, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So take that with you. I want you to write down what's obvious, and I want you to explore how you are when you're creating what you love. Because okay. you know how to do it. You just got to take that same recipe and you got to do that in other places because you're not broken. Okay. Right, bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> you know, yeah, you do the notes. Yeah. Thank you. You don't, you don't need the rest of the notes. You just need the ending. The ending's all that matters. Yeah. Well, that was good. That was good. That was good. I'll have Angela pop back into the gallery to the audience. Thank you very much again, Angela. That was uh, perfect. It was just perfect. If you love that session and you want more, there's a link below. If you'd like to work with someone to unpack your structure to know how you're dysfunctional or functional, then click the link and join one of our programs or get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Can't wait to help you even more. When you learn your dysfunctional structure, you know what not to do. When you know how you are functionally, continue doing that and your thoughts will turn into reality faster than you could imagine. Hope to see you in one of our programs really soon. Click the link, find out more. Bye for now.